Yo, Skippy, it's me, Leroy. A long time, bro. Leroy. Man, I don't know what to say, man. I heard about you and Janet, man. I knew you guys would get married and everything. I'm sorry, man. Skippy, thank you, bro. But listen, you need to get out of 951, baby. You're in grave danger. Leroy, you know you're my boy and everything, but with all due respect, I ain't scared. And I sure as hell not running away, all right? That monster took away the only good thing I had going in my life. Murdered chills and cold blood on my couch. They say he's coming for me next? Well, then so be it. I'm ready for him. I got a score to settle with. I've seen this monster, man. It ain't no human. It's a beast, a demon, 10 times bigger than any of those defensive linebacks we played against. It, man. I really want you to leave 951. But if you must stay, well, they say on the news that the only way to defeat him is by saying the name of his hometown to his face three times. Well, if I had to guess, say that the name of his hometown is New York. New York? Why would you? Why would you say New York? The day he came into Janet's house and murdered a cat, Mungo. Oh my God! He was wearing a homemade "I Love the Giants" T-shirt. Yeah. You know, it was in the New York Giants. So based on that, I'd say there's a good chance he's from New York. So I'm, Skippy, I'm begging you. If you're gonna face off with this thing, when you see him right away, you need to say it. New York, New York, New York. Leroy, good looking out, bro. You always had my back on the field. And I guess you still do, even today. Be strong, brother. Don't worry. I'm gonna get this son of a bitch. And I'm gonna avenge all these deaths. All the killings in Temecula will stop tonight with me. This I bow to you, my friend.